MFC's Document View Architecture. For this lesson, you will need a Visual Studio App Wizard generated MFC project, like the one we created in Lesson 1, which you can download from our site at zoax.net. In this lesson, we'll look at the document view architecture of MFC. The document is a generic container that holds the data of the application. This class, derived from C document, takes care of loading data from any source such as the disk or a database, updating the data when it changes, and saving the data out to any source. The other main component of the architecture is the view, which is the part of your application that is seen by the user. This class derives from C view. It shows the data to the user and takes input in the form of mouse and keyboard from the user. There are two types of MFC application, SDI and MDI. SDI stands for Single Document Interface, which means there is only one document and usually only one view. On the other hand, MDI, or Multiple Document Interface, can handle many documents, as well as many views. For this tutorial, we will focus on the SDI application with one document and one view. I'm going to be referring to our MFC Lesson 1, so please review that lesson and then download the MFC project code from our website at zoex.net. After you extract the files from the zip, just double click on the SLN file to start the solution. The App Wizard inserts only the most basic functions needed to run an MFC application. When we look at the View class in Lesson1View.cpp, there is one major function here that we need to understand, and that is onDraw. This function gets called when the program first runs, and this is what shows the data to the user inside the view area. It takes a device context as an argument, which can generically represent anything the view can draw to, including the window of the application or an actual printer. This view class also handles mouse events such as button clicks, mouse moves, and also keyboard presses. These events are handled via the message map and specific functions, which we will go over in a future lesson. Now we'll look at the document class. Double click on Lesson1Doc.cpp. The main function here that is important for all MFC applications is called Serialize. This function gets called when a user saves their work or loads something from disk. Here the check for is storing will return true if the data needs to be saved. Otherwise, the data needs to be loaded. We will use this function in depth in future lessons. We have now just briefly touched on the basics of the document view architecture of MFC. This concludes the lesson.